Today's video from the Elephant Zone is about how a wounded wild elephant is getting treated. Elephants are generally strong animals with a strong physical structure. However, minor and significant injuries do occur. The skin of an elephant is extremely thick and wounds heal slowly. As a result, wounds should be cleaned properly and treated with a healing salve. Otherwise, there is a significant risk of an abscess forming from a tiny wound. Wildlife officials are getting prepared with necessary medicines and equipment to cure this giant friend. Here, mostly sedative drugs and antibiotics are being readied which are the essentials to treat the wounded elephant. This equipment used by the officer is known as the tranquilizer gun, which is usually inserted with an anesthetic drug to sedate the wounded elephant. This gun can insert sedative drugs to an elephant without going near it. Wild elephants are usually not familiar with humans. Therefore, reaching directly to the elephant would bring life risk to the officers. They insert the sedative drug by a faraway distance using the tranquilizer gun to make the elephant unconscious. The sedating process is called darting. According to the clues provided by the nearby villagers, the team entered the forest in search of the elephant. The team is dedicated to help the majestic elephants whenever they are in need. Therefore, they walked heartily through the forest regardless the thorny trees and other obstacles they encounter. During their visit, they found another giant tusker, but that was not the one they were looking for. They escaped the tusker and moved forward. Finally, they were able to spot the injured giant and sedate it from a distance. The elephant has become unconscious when the anesthetic drug comes into effect. This gives a chance for the veterinarians to properly analyze the animal and the status of the wound to decide with a proper remedy. His front legs have been injured. The nature of the wound suggests that he has been shot by someone. The veterinary surgeon advised his helpers about the necessary actions that should be taken. They begin to treat the elephant in rush, since it is not recommended to keep the elephants recumbent for a longer period. The necessary medicines were inserted into the elephant's body via injections. The injections are with antibiotics that are vital to build up immunity and speed up the healing of wounds. Quick healing of wounds will prevent secondary bacterial infections and prevent further inflammation through the wounds. More painkillers and multivitamins are also inserted into the animal's body to refrain from unbearable pain. Yeah, 
After all the treatments, the elephant is provided with external support to regain consciousness by inserting an antidote which is also called the revival drug. Usually it takes about 30 minutes time to the revival drug to come into effect. But this time, it took longer than usual for the elephant to regain the consciousness. After about an hour, Elephant started moving the body and got up on his feet. The follow-up treatments will be done by these officials to save the wildlife as they are the true owners of Mother Nature. <laughs> 